I was so sure it could never happen to me. I was so sure. Moi, j'ai eu un diagnostic un lundi à 6 heures, puis le jeudi matin, j'étais sur la table d'opération. Si j'aurais suivi mon intuition, je voyais la boule qui était douteuse, j'aurais pu aller voir ailleurs. Parce que s'il l'aurait détecté un peu plus avant, ça aurait peut-être été moins compliqué. Ça va prendre le temps que ça prendra, mais euh, après, quand ça sera un petit bout de temps, je pourrais dire je l'ai vaincu et je suis en rémission. Ça me dérange pas, là. Cancer, ça me fait pas peur. L'amour est plus fort que n'importe quoi. Sans lui, non, je sais pas ce que j'aurais fait. Thank God the horses don't care if you don't have eyelashes and... Well, actually, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think anybody cares. It's a lot how we feel about ourselves. There's so many constants that aren't there during cancer. Everything's variable. You have no idea what's coming next. You're not sure if you're going to be the one who pulls through or the one who doesn't make it. This disease is taking enough. It's not going to rule my life. The only time you see what kind of person you are is really in a, in a crisis. You change because you appreciate life more and then maybe you have something to teach others. That human touch is so important. You were there when I went to sleep and you were there when I woke up. So I really want to tell you that you're a great doctor. You see, this is when it's real. <laughs> you know, when you lose people, we call them our fallen warriors. Whether I live another year or five years or 20 years, it doesn't really matter. I need to do what I'm called to do and what I'm meant to do. And then if you're on the plane and you want to sleep... I wish we would have a world um, free of those diseases, a healthier world. And it takes all of us. If we could all join together, put our hands together, this world would be a better world.